Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Fix That Engineer. And uh, guys, today is something that I, this is a, a moment, a, a situation that I've been waiting on for a very, very long time. And you, you've been waiting for it too, guys. Today, we're going to be able to use our runes of Dark Elixir and, not not a wall ring, uh, Dark Elixir and a rune of Elixir. But before we get to use all that, we really, really need to get to 9 million elixir. Now, you probably already know why. Um, I've actually, I'd like to get to 9 million gold as well, but mostly the biggest priority is getting to 9 million elixir in this video. So, without any more delay, guys, I've got my barch. I'm still using barch because I need to be super efficient with, um, with my elixir that I'm spending. Plus, also, it's like the best army that you can use for efficiency farming. And I'm still in Gold League. I'm really working hard on getting up into uh, Crystal League. That's kind of my main goal. So if I run into any bases with the tunnel on the outside or whatever, I will snipe that baby. But guys, super excited about using the... See, look at that. It's really close to a snipe, but not quite. We're not going to bother with that one. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited about using the rune because, I mean, frankly... It's Elixir, and Elixir is the hardest thing to get in this game, and we're about to fill up a storage full of it, but we got to get to 9 million first because we have a very key upgrade that we need to do. Now, this is actually not a very bad choice, um, but for some reason, and I don't, oh yeah, 233,000 Elixir. I saw 374,000 gold, and I thought, hey, this is pretty good, but why are all of these collectors so low level? That was really, really weird. So, um, guys, let me find a good base, a good dead base. They're, it's getting... Um, they're getting a lot more common. They're a lot more easy to find whenever uh, the higher up in the trophies that we get. So, ooh. Okay, this will work. Um, let's get this base. I'm actually 400,000 elixir. I don't really care about the dark elixir all that much. I don't really care about the gold all that much. But what I do care about mostly is the elixir. And most of it is sitting on the outside. I mean, yeah, you can see three storages up here. We've got one storage over here. And then we've got the town hall. So, guys, I think we are going to be able to do a, hopefully, at least a decent job of getting rid of this loot or, or taking this loot. So, I'm going to get my king. Oh! Did you guys see that? That x died, ran out of ammo. That was awesome. All right, so it's going to take my troops for flipping ever to get through this base, um, through the walls, because they are so low. Look at this level 13 king. Takes forever to just take out a level 2 expo. So now he's going to hammer on this wall for who knows how long. It's going to be ridiculous, guys. Um, so I guess what I will do here... I'm going to go ahead and help out with my Barbarians. All right, we're going to throw our Barbarians in right here. Uh, Four-figure deployment. They'll mostly, it looks like they're mostly going to settle down onto three wall spots. And then maybe, yeah, they're going to keep working on one of the sections. Cool. So we're going to get at least two of these Elixir Storages without using my Warden and without using my King. I'm actually going to throw down a Rage Spell over here because I really, there you go. I really wanted to get that Elixir Storage. So now we've only got... Uh, one more elixir storage left and we got that town hall which I'm not really trying very hard to get to that town hall um, But you know if we were to happen to get it, that'd be pretty sweet, right? So let me pop my king's ability um, And we're gonna see what happens after this those wizard towers that that line of wizard towers and that mortar the line of uh, Splash damage really slow uh, slowed down my barch, which is the biggest weakness for barch And so there we go. We got two no three of the storages and now I would like to see how much of that loot I could get with my, uh, actually, you know what? I bet you my warden could snipe this all by himself. Aha, okay. So here's my second theory. My second theory is if I send in my, I actually, this is generally for defense. I don't normally use the, um, the electro dragon for defense, but I'm thinking if I can send my wall wrecker through there, break open the wall, my queen will follow directly behind and my warden is grabbing all the elixir for me. This is great. So. 400,000 elixir in a single raid. What are you doing, Warden? Oh, oh, that's not a Warden. That is a Wall Wrecker. Uh, wall Wrecker, if you're going to just break through walls for no reason, at least make it count. There we go. As soon as that wall breaks, I can put my queen down. Perfect. Yes. All right. And then there is a um, an Electro Dragon in there, too. So it's going to be pretty scary as soon as those Infernos break through. Oh, man. All right. Well, could you break? Did you just destroy the town? Oh, man. This, this poor guy's getting wrecked. Yeah, he got wrecked. Totally wrecked. Well, I'm going to get need my queen's ability here. Oh, I missed the button. No. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I legit, I physically, I physically missed the button. 
And that Town Hall had, like, no health left. And I would have gotten the Town Hall, and I probably would have gotten the Dark Collection Storage as well. Dang it, man. Let's get some hashtag Klaus fail in the comments, all right? That was really, really bad. So, um, Warden can get the good job, get the camp if you'd like. Get that sweeper because you feel like it. Man, I feel like a total noob right now. Sorry about that, uh, but that's okay. So, yeah, look at that. 291,000 elixir. Totally, totally worth it. And we, we bit off a little bit more than we could chew in that raid, but it was fun. I, I Even though I failed... I had a good time with that raid. So before we get into the next attack, and I'm going to request for um, E-Dragon and Loon, I'm actually going to go in and check out my latest raid. This one was a 300,000 gold and elixir raid. Most of the loot actually is sitting on the uh, the bottom left, so like the bottom corner on the left, and then on top and on the right. So it's like two out of the four sides are really where I need the Barbarians and the Archers. But, because I want to get at least 50%, since there's no way in heck I'm going to get this Town Hall, uh, I'm not going to even try for that two-star, um, the whole point is that we get as much percentage as possible to maybe not fail the attack. Maybe we gain some trophies instead of lose some trophies, because I'm really, really trying to get up into Crystal League. So, um, all of the Elixir has been gained now, except for this Elixir here. And it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Yeah, archers can hit buildings that are one space behind the wall, but not two. Um, the queen can hit stuff that's two, three spaces behind the wall, I believe. But the regular little baby archers cannot do it. So it's very unfortunate for our attack. We're going to miss out on about 74,000 looks. But just like that, and it's all about base recognition. It's all about finding the right base. As I've said many times already in this series, Fix That Engineer. But it is like... You know, you've got to just find those the right bases, and if you do, and it doesn't really take that much more searches, you can actually gain a ton of profit, guys, in just a very short amount of time. So, very, very nice. That loot, um, 315,000 elixir plus that little bit, just a little bit of loot bonus, it really, and that was really good. That was a lot of gold on top of that. Let me see if I've got some CC. Whoa! Wow, nice. Balloon, Battle Blimp, Raid Spell. Pretty much got everything but the Electro Dragon that I wanted. So let me try to give them just a couple more minutes and wait and see what comes up. This one below, actually, is a lot more loot, guys. 600,000 Elixir. You can imagine when I found this base, I was like, whoa, that is nice. And so I actually took out a Wizard Tower down there using two separate groups of Barbarians and Archers because the Wizard Tower can only hit one clump at a time. So by separating the Archers and the Barbarians, it made it uh, to where the Wizard Tower wasn't able to hit as much of the... Of the um, of the troops, so <laughs> putting down the barbarians and archers, guys, we're gonna get that town hall, take it out. Also got an elixir uh, collector over here, and now what I'm trying to do mostly is be as efficient as possible because I also want to get the dark elixir drills that are down here. So if I can get all of the gold mines on the left and all the elix uh, elixir collectors on the right with my barbarians and my archers, then I can use my heroes to go down and snipe the dark elixir drills. Now that's gonna be a bit difficult um <laughs> given it there's just a lot and that's actually why i put down some barbarians and archers i wanted to start taking out some of the extra buildings down there but check it out barbarians and archers doing a great job they got all the elixirs on the on the right all the gold on the bottom on the left and now it all comes down to a single level 31 queen this is a level 31 queen she is not messing around guys um she's pretty decent pretty strong and now I've got my king, my queen, and my warden. So king, queen, and warden all deployed at the same time. Uh, queen actually takes out the enemy queen before the king got there, which is really, really nice. And now the king is kind of going the wrong direction. So I'm going to pop his ability, get him out of here. Queen, oh, and there you go. There's a warden's ability to keep that king alive even longer. And now it comes down to the queen to get the star elixir because the king went off the wrong direction. Warden, for some reason, wants to get the elixir storage, which is clearly empty. What is wrong with you, my dude? And the queen is fine. Oh, 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 no. Oh, queen wants the elixir storage, too. Something about this elixir storage, guys, keeping things interested in it. I don't understand it one bit. So, ooh, good job. Yeah, get that, uh, that mortar. Very good. So level 15 queen now dealing with an archer tower. Power. Not good, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pop my queen's ability, get her through that expo, and actually, here's that 50% and all the Dark Elixir that the base had to offer, aside from whatever's in that storage or maybe even in that client castle. But we got the town hall, so that's where a lot of Dark Elixir was sitting as well. And um, pretty much the loot, the, the profit was insane. I mean, over 600,000 Elixir. Um, I, again, I don't even remember. I think 90,000 is the Barch Army. So... That's a ton of elixir profit, guys. The gold, amazing as well. And the dark elixir, really, really good, actually, for a barch raid. So very, very nice. That was a great grab to find. 
And, um, okay, I, I still have no Electro Dragon, but I'm going to go and I'm going to find, okay, so the first live raid that we did today was not so good, but we, what we really need to do is we need to hit um, 300,000 Elixir, or to be exact, we need 290,000 Elixir. Ooh, this one's got a lot, but it's all in the storages. Yeah, see, uh, uh, just like last episode, you got to be careful whenever you're hitting these bases, guys. You got to be careful. Don't just look at the numbers on the top left-hand side of your screen. Look at the bases and decide, can I hit this with my army? And this one, I can't. Oh, yes, guys. All right, I can't read this guy's name, but look at this. Look at all that elixir just laid out perfectly for us. Oh, yes, this is exactly what I needed. So what I'm going to do with this one, actually, I'm not going to worry about the dark elixir too much. It's too far into the base. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down these arches. I'm going to go down to like, or barbarians. I'm going to go down to about 60. Same thing with the arches. Go down to about 60. And we're going to just wait. All right, we're just going to wait. And we're going to see, do I get all the elixir or not? Barbarians are doing a great job. All that, yes. Dude, we already, we already got what we needed. That's perfect. Nine million elixir. Now, I'd like to get the gold, too. It's a little bit more spread out, though, unfortunately. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to throw down my barbarians on this side, just like so. Get those arches in there as well. And I've got my warden. In case, uh, you know what? I'm going to throw my warden on this side because it looks like this is probably the more dangerous side of the base. And um, I don't think we'll be able to get rid of this wizard tower. Um, but what I can do, let's just drop a rage over here, because what I'd like to do is I'd like to see these barbarians get through this wall, uh, because this is where a lot of the gold is. So, there we go. Barbarian, ooh, whoa, whoa, warden, where are you going? Why are you going over here? <laughs> I don't understand the warden at all, dude. I dropped you with the group on the left, you dingbat. Why? <laughs> What are you doing? All right, so we missed out on one gold mine, but we came here for the elixir, ultimately. So I'm happy. I'm good. What's keeping us alive over here? What's going on? What are we waiting for? Normally, whenever we're waiting, I mean, I've got a blimp, but generally speaking, the attack ends even if I have a siege machine left. Normally, just like a, a little barbarian banging on a wall somewhere, but apparently that is not the case. That is super weird, or maybe no, because the defenses would have targeted it. That's weird. Okay, well, let's go ahead and close out of there. I don't want to waste my blimp. And there you flip and go, guys. We needed 290,000 elixir, and we got 447. Not bad. Plus, almost a million or ha half a million gold. That is pretty dang solid as well. I would have liked to have gotten, again, to about 9 million gold, but the day is not done. Ooh, now, now I got my electro dragon. What's up, my dude? I'm going to name you Papa because you're donated from Papa Andy. What's going on, Papa? How you doing? <laughs> All right, guys, so let's spend some loot. Today, again, is a really, really big day. Let's pop into my progress base here. Um, my X-Bow, where is it? My X-Bow that I um, upgraded or put into the base last episode is here. So welcome to the party, my dude. And um, I think what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get our elixir business done. Because it's kind of the more, it's, it's going to be, a little bit odd okay we're gonna have to pay attention to what we're doing so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spend nine million elixir we only had one camp to begin with that we needed to upgrade to max this is the camp that needs to be upgraded to max so let's upgrade this baby guys we're going to be unlocking five more troop capacity it doesn't sound like a lot but it does add up and all of our camps will be maxed out the first thing you want to focus on anytime you're fixing a rush or even an engineer is to really maximize your offense because if your offense is maxed then your attacking capability will be maxed and we're going to get loot better so let's do this guys 11 days and 16 hours why 16 hours why not just 12 days i don't get it so in so that means that um that's eight day eight hours before now that means it'll be eight o'clock in the morning it is now currently 4 p.m my time as i record this so that's crazy that's so funny all right so in about 12 days our army camp will be done and then we'll be uh we'll be max offensively as far as like camps are concerned so let's upgrade this guy's nine million elixir in three two one bam Nice. All right, so let's move this baby up out of the... Oh, wait. I don't think I'm going to have an appropriate spot. Uh, I don't have a spot. Okay. I'll have to do that in between episodes because I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch me readjust my progress base as I continue to advance this base. So, one builder is now used up. I have been upgrading stuff based on the cheapest upgrades. Um, so, like, for instance, I've been getting all these cannons level 4. There's only one left. All these are level 4. All these arch towers are now level three, and I've been slowly also upgrading the gold mines as well because they are currently, I think, yeah, the gold mines are the cheapest elixir upgrade. So that is kind of what I've been doing off camera. I haven't upgraded any walls off camera. Um, okay, so now yeah, here's the fun part. We are going to, I guess, first we could get a barch army going, right? 
Oh, it's 77,000. Ooh, let's get both Barch armies going. There you go. 9 million or 9,000 elixir left. And that's good. You want to empty out your storages as much as possible before you use a rune because the rune will fill it up completely. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the sound effects because I don't want to hear that Barch sound going and um, or like the training thing going. And now let's get ourselves a bunch of elixir um let's use this guys it's going to give us nine million nine hundred and ninety thousand elixir that is a lot of elixir for one single rune guys that's almost perfect um it worked out better than i expected so let's do this guys in three two one bam all right guys so now we've got 10 million elixir and let's just sit on max elixir just for a moment because i have a lot of other stuff that i want to do today uh first of all i'm going to use my no i don't want to collect my treasury just yet oh there's only 700 dark elixir no big deal okay so now i've got 9 million gold this is what i was talking about earlier is i want to have 9 million gold because i want to get the other three expos today but there's a problem with that if i use all three of my remaining builders you can have four that would and i've already got one so i need three more builders that would spend nine million gold that's what i want i want to spend all my loot before i log off and take a defense but that will only leave me with one uh builder left and i've got a lot of elixir so and i've also got a lot of dark elixir because today not only are we going to be using a rune of elixir but we're going to be using a rune of dark elixir and upgrading our heroes a whole bunch of times and so i'm i'm kind of in a I'm kind of in a weird position here. So I'm thinking I might want to do another, maybe like the most expensive elixir upgrade that I can. I've got three and a half days until my barbarians are done before I'm going to need more elixir to pour into the, the laboratory. So what we're going to do, let me see, actually, let's see. Barracks, four million. Barracks, four. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Barracks going to level 12 is four million. Barracks going to level 13 is also four million. That's kind of funny. What about the dark barracks? Six million. Okay, cool, cool. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this dark barracks. I'm not using the dark barracks. I could theoretically use both dark barracks or upgrade both dark barracks at the exact same time because I don't intend on training any dark troops for a long time. So I want to spend as much elixir as possible because I'm taking really, really heavy defenses. It's really, really rough. There's half a million elixir right there. 482 million, or not million, thousand <laughs> elixir. Um, that one was nice. I, I didn't mind that one. But yeah, the, the, the elixir defenses have been rough, and I don't like losing a lot of loot on defense, so I need to spend as much as possible. Another idea would be if your walls are all over level 8, at starting at level 9 wall, you can start using elixir in your walls to keep your store just empty while you're waiting on stuff to finish training. But we're not in that position just yet, so we're going to have to just hang tight and and wait so let's go ahead and upgrade this dark barracks just because it again is the most expensive elixir upgrade so that i'm holding on to as little as possible for my defense let's upgrade this dark barracks to uh, wait, wait wait how much is this dark spell factory four and a half million you know what i'm gonna go ahead and use this because it, there's nothing worse than needing to train poison spells or any other dark spell and not being able to so if we go ahead and do this and get it out of the way then I think this one would probably benefit me more. Not that I necessarily need skeleton spells, but because I'm going to do it eventually, I'd rather get it done sooner rather than later. So let's upgrade this Dark Spell Factory, guys. Six and a half to upgrade it. Three, two, one, bam. There we go. All right, so let's get that. Do I have a book of uh, book of building? A book of building would be helpful. Nope, I don't. Okay, so we're going to be a bit disappointed today. I really, really wanted, I knew that there was going to be a problem, and that's seems like that's the problem. Uh, we really, really want to um, get all three expos today, but I don't have the builders. So let's get this one, guys. That is uh, 3 million gold. Let's do the other. That's going to be another 3 million. And now I'm sitting on one builder, okay? Now, I think I might have just made a mistake because what I really wanted to do was I wanted to upgrade my king, let him rest, and then use the Book of Heroes on the queen because she's more expensive and takes longer to upgrade um, after using the Dark Rune. So we, I made a bit of a mistake here. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the final expo. All right. So today's about expos, right? Um, and then next time, so today was about the Rune of Elixir, right? Today was about the expos. And then next time will be about the Dark Elixir Rune. And we're going to be really cranking out some hero upgrades. And it's going to be really flipping awesome awesome um also in about three days again the lab's going to be done so we're going to need some elixir at that point as well it's going to be a big time we have so much work to do guys but i just something is wrong with my mind i really really just 
have to get the last expo today. I'm sorry. I know that's kind of disappointing for those of you that wanted to see some hero upgrades, but you'll wait. You'll be just fine. I promise. So let's get the final expo upgrade, guys. We're going to be staying at 57,000 Dark Elixir. That's fine at Tunnel 11. Um, you, as long as you stay below, I think it was 87,500 Dark Elixir. Because at 87,500 Dark Elixir in your storage, that's when the amount of loot that your opponents can get is maximized. So if you have, like, say right now, let's just say for argument's sake, if someone who wants to attack my base, they could get 3,000 Dark Elixir if my Dark Elixir storage was maxed out. Uh, 200,000 Dark Elixir, right? Um, if the Dark Elixir storage is at 100,000 capacity, then they would still only be able to take 3,000. But once you hit 87,500, then the amount of Dark Elixir they can grab is, is smaller, um, is lower. So obviously, if you get zero Dark Elixir in storage, your opponents can only hit zero. And if you're at 87,500, they can get 3,000. And everything above that is also 3,000. So in my mind, as long as I'm staying below 87,500, I'm doing okay as far as Dark Elixir is concerned. I hope that made sense, guys. If you need more explanation on that, let me know in the comments or just watch that section over with because I think I explained it fairly. Fairly well. So let's get the third expo, guys, in three, two, one, bam. And now we have no gold. Uh, <laughs> nice, guys. Good stuff happened today. I'm really excited. I'm kind of disappointed again that I didn't get to use that Dark Elixir rune, but it's all right because next time we'll have a lot more builders available and we will also be able to. Um, We'll be able to focus more on actually I'll probably have enough dark elixir by then to just start off with a queen upgrade because frankly again upgrading her that's a 3d upgrade 71,000 dark elixir or if I upgrade the king that's 47,000 dark elixir which is like 24,000 less in only two and a half days so using a book of heroes on him is kind of robbing me of 12 hours of book time if that makes sense as well so um guys i think that is gonna have to do it for me today uh we again got a lot done all all of our expos we're now officially 1009 actually no 1009s only have two expos 1010s have three 1011s have four we have four now I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be weird going forward for a long time. It's going to be weird trying to find out, find out like where our weight really adds up and really lines up. But really, the ultimate goal is that we get our infernos, we get our eagle artillery as soon as possible. So that's why I really prioritized going ahead and getting my expos, get everything on the board as soon as possible. And I think that pretty much covers it. I didn't do any walls today, but that's fine. We will have plenty of opportunity. Do not worry. How much upgrade? Oh, yeah. Only... A whole entire line is only 220,000 gold. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely want to do some walls soon because those walls are way too underleveled. And I think I've rambled on long enough today, guys. Expos galore. Upgrade. This is huge, though. Getting that army cap upgraded and getting that spell factory upgraded. Where is the spell factory? Did I? Oh, I moved it. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So finishing those very, very necessary upgrades today. Very, very nice. And uh, tune in next time to find out where I put my expos because I don't want to have to think about it right now while I film. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Join the class family for daily gaming videos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, remember that I love each and every one of you and I will see you all again next time.